Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful collar pattern. I found this on Pinterest. This size is for one to two year old, but you can use up to three years. So let's get started. For this project, I'm using this beautiful color from Alice Diva and two millimeter crochet hook. You can use any kind of yarn with suitable hook size. So here I'm going to start to work a magic ring like this. Start to work a slip knot, but we're not going to pull it. Just pull the working yarn and just keep the circle like that. Now it looks like a magic circle. So now from here I'm going to work chain 3. Okay, here we made chain 3. Now I'm going to work one double crochet into the same space like this. Okay, here we made our first block. Now I'm going to pull this yarn and tight it. Now from here I'm going to work chain 3. Now yarn over and insert the hook from this both loops here, from this both bumps and work a double crochet. Okay, here we made our second block. Now from here work chain 3 and I'm going to work another double crochet inserting the hook from these two loops here. Like this, continue work till your desired length comes. Okay, here I made 40 blocks, but you can make till your desired length comes. Okay, now let's start the second row. For that work, chain 3 and I'm going to work 2 double crochets into this space here. So, insert the hook from this space between of double crochet and 3 chain space and work 2 double crochets like this. Now, work chain 5. Okay, here we made chain 5. Now I'm going to work 2 double crochets into the same space here. Okay, here we made. Now I'm going to skip into the next chain space here to this space and work a single crochet. Okay, here we done and this is how it looks like. Now let's work the next one. I'm going to skip into the next space here and work two double crochets, chain five, two double crochets into the same space. Okay, here I made two double crochets, now work chain five and then work two double crochets into the same space. Okay, here I made, now I'm going to skip into the next space and work a single crochet. Okay, here we done and this is how it looks like. Now let's move to the next one. You have to work two double crochets, chain five, two double crochets into the same space. And after making this, make a single crochet into the next chain space. Like this, you have to continue till the end of this row. Okay, here I completed this round and this is how it looks like. So I'm going to finish this round with a double crochet. If you see, we started this row with a, with chain 3 like this here. So here we started with chain 3. Now I'm going to stop with double crochet. So insert the hook from this last chain space here and then work one double crochet. Okay, here we done. Now let's move to the second round for that work, chain 4 and then turn your work. In this round, we're going to work into these chain 5 spaces. We're going to work 
treble crochet clusters so for that yarn over twice and inside the hook from this space and grab the yarn now yarn over and pull through two loops and we have three loops on our hook now again yarn over and pull through two loops now we have two loops on our hook so here we're not going to finish the work because we're going to work a cluster so for that again yarn over twice and insert the hook from this same space and grab the yarn now yarn over pull through two loops again yarn over pull through two loops now we have three loops on our hook so now last yarn over pull through all the loops so here we made two treble crochet cluster okay now from your work chain two and i'm going to work another two treble crochet cluster into the same space so for that yarn over twice and insert the hook from the same space and start to work a treble crochet but don't finish it now again yarn over twice and work another treble crochet and then last yarn over pull through from all the loops from all three loops so here we made two treble crochet cluster now again work chain two and work a two treble crochet cluster into the same space okay here we made our third treble crochet cluster now again work chain two and work one more two treble crochet cluster into the same space okay here i made my fourth two treble crochet cluster and this is how it looks like you had to work four two treble crochet clusters into one space now i'm going to work into this chain five space here so you have to work the same you have to work four two treble crochet clusters into this chain five space so for that yarn over twice and start to work a treble crochet but don't finish it again yarn over twice and work a treble crochet into the same space now last yarn over and pull through from three loops so here we made our first cluster now from here work chain two and work another two treble crochet cluster into the same space Here I made my second cluster now from here work chain two and continue work two more clusters into the same space and remember to work chain two in between of that clusters so here I completed four treble crochet clusters now we're going to work into the next chain space the same you have to work four two treble crochet clusters into the same space like this you have to continue till the end of this round and let's meet at there okay here i completed the second round and this is how it looks like now last i'm going to finish this round with a treble crochet because we started this round with chain four so we have to stop this round with a treble crochet so for that yarn over twice and i'm going to insert the hook from this chain three space here you can see there is chain three and then two double crochets are there so we have to work into this chain three space and work a treble crochet okay here we done now from here work chain four and turn your work in this round we're going to work into this chain two spaces so we're going to work three double crochet cluster and the same time we're going to work a v-stitch top of that so for that yarn over twice and insert the hook from this chain to space and grab the yarn now yarn over pull through two loops so here we have three loops on our hook now again yarn over and insert the hook from the same space and grab the yarn now again yarn over and pull through two loops so here you can see we have four loops on our hook 
Now again yarn over and insert the hook from the same space and grab the yarn. And now again yarn over pull through two loops. So here we have five loops on our hook. Now again yarn over and pull through from three loops. And here we completed our three double crochet cluster. And now you can see we have three loops on our hook. Now again yarn over pull through two loops. And we have two loops on our hook. And now again yarn over pull through from both loops. So here we made a three double crochet cluster petal. Looks like a petal. Now we're going to work a V-stitch to this top. So for that work chain two and I'm going to insert the hook from this space here. From this two loops you can see. So yarn over and insert the hook from these two loops from here and grab the yarn. Now work a double crochet. Okay, here we made a double crochet and this is how it looks like. We made three double crochet cluster and at the same time a V-stitch top of that cluster. So now let's move to the next space. So for that yarn over twice and insert the hook from the next chain two space here and grab the yarn. Now yarn over and pull through two loops. Here we have three loops on our hook. Now again yarn over and grab the yarn from the same space and pull through two loops. So here we have four loops on our hook. Now again yarn over and insert the hook from the same space and grab the yarn and pull through from two loops. Now we have five loops on our hook. Now again yarn over, pull through from three loops and we have completed our three double crochet cluster. Now we have three loops on our hook. Now again yarn over, pull through two loops. Again yarn over and pull through from both loops. So here we completed our petal and this is how it looks like. Now we're going to work the V stitch top of this cluster. So for that work chain two. Now I'm going to insert the hook from these two loops here. You can see two bumps up there. So insert the hook from these two loops. Before that you have to yarn over and insert the hook from these two loops and grab the yarn. Now work a double crochet. Okay, here we made our second cluster and the V-stitch. Now let's move to the next chain space here. For that yarn over twice and insert the hook from this chain two space and grab the yarn. Now yarn over pull through two loops. We have three loops on our hook. Again yarn over and insert the hook from the same space and grab the yarn. Now yarn over and pull through two loops. Again yarn over and insert the hook from the same space and grab the yarn. Again yarn over pull through two loops. Now we have five loops on our hook. Now yarn over pull through from three loops. And here we have three loops on our hook. Again yarn over pull through two and again yarn over pull through from both loops. So here we made our third cluster. Now we're going to work a V-stitch top of this cluster. So for that work chain two and yarn over. Now I'm going to insert the hook from these two loops here and grab the yarn from these two loops and work a double crochet. So here we made a V-stitch top of this cluster and this is how it looks like. Now all you have to do is just continue the same to the next chain two spaces also. So the next I'm going to work to this chain two space and continue work the same pattern like work three double crochet cluster and the same time work a v-stitch top of that. Okay, here we reach the end of this row. You can see we started this row with 
four chains so we have to stop this row with a treble crochet so for that yarn over twice and i'm going to insert the hook from this space here so insert the hook from a chain space to the last chain and grab the yarn and then work a treble crochet okay here we made our third row and this is how it looks like now let's work the last round for that work chain one and then turn your work now i'm going to work a single crochet into this very first space you can see there's a v stitch and the treble crochet space so i'm going to work in between of that work a single crochet now from here work chain three now i'm going to work into this two chain space here into this v stitch so i'm going to work four double crochet cluster so for that yarn over and start to work a double crochet but don't finish it i have two loops on a hook now again yarn over and grab the yarn from the same space yarn over pull through two now i have three loops on a hook again yarn over and grab the yarn from the same space and yarn over pull through two now we have four loops on our hook again do the same but don't finish it now last we have five loops on our hook now yarn over and pull through from all the loops so here we made a four double crochet cluster now from your work chain three now i'm going to work a single crochet in between of these two spaces here so work a single crochet now from here work chain three now again i'm going to work four double crochet cluster into this v stitch space okay here we made four double crochet cluster now work chain three and then i'm going to work a single crochet into this space here between of these clusters okay here we made and this is how it looks like now from here work chain three and continue work four double crochet cluster into the next v stitch like this you have to complete till the end of this round and let's meet at there okay here we reach to the end of this row i'm going to finish this row with a single crochet so i'm going to insert the hook from this last chain space and make a single crochet so here we done now last work chain one and then cut off the yarn okay here we made our beautiful crochet color i hope you like this video if you like give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you soon with another beautiful tutorial until that take care bye bye